Are you questioning whether or not to breastfeed during this time of the COVID-19, AKA coronavirus pandemic? Well, stay tuned, let's talk about it. Okay, well, unless you've been under a rock, you already know. And I think if you even was under a rock, you would still know that the COVID-19, AKA coronavirus has pretty much changed the way we live, the way we think, um, the way we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. But today we're here to talk about breastfeeding and is it safe to continue breastfeeding if you're already breastfeeding before all this happened or you're about to be due, you know, and you want to know, should you put that on your birth plan or not? Um, is this something you want to do or not? And these are completely, um, I can't even begin to imagine what's going through your mind if you are pregnant now or if you are breastfeeding now. Um, I have six children, as some of you know, um, and I br breastfed for pretty much five years. So I had twins, so that's why we had to cut off a year. But So I was breastfeeding two at the same time. But um, I, I couldn't even imagine what I'd be thinking. So I'm gonna talk about the most updated information. As you know, this pandemic has us uh, basically changing on a daily basis. So what was last Monday, what we were supposed to do is not what we do this Monday because of some other discovery or realization. So breastfeeding is the best period, okay? Even if we take away what's going on right now, it is the best thing to do across the board, okay? There is no formula. I don't care how much it costs. I don't care where you buy it, what country it comes from. It does not come near what breast milk has in it. Um, that's why they call it liquid gold and you can sell breast milk for you know up to five dollars per ounce um, so that's how expensive it is so it is something that is um, miraculous where humans can't even figure out how and why we can't manipulate this they can get kind of close I couldn't even say kind of close because it's not even you know I'm just giving them more credit but no it's not even close so breast milk as you know has tons and tons of things. If you just put the whole grocery store together, you know, besides all the sugary aisles, we'll kind of cut that a little bit, but there is sugar in it. And just kind of put it all together, all your vitamins, you can put GNC in there, you can put the best health store in there, you can put the best place to get your vitamins in there. It's, it still would match to what breast milk is. Or you could say, it's just the totality of all that together. So breast milk has tons of vitamins, minerals, fats, carbohydrates, water, um, certain acids that your body needs, carbolic acids, um, enzymes. It has growth hormones in it. It even has hormone stimulators. So your breast milk is able to tell if it's feeding a female or if it's feeding a male. and even now, you know, um, that people are not aware that babies are, can be born um, with two sexes, um, it knows that too. So it knows even before you know. So it knows what to prepare for the baby. It knows what to increase, what to increase. It knows all of that. Um, all of your immuno antibodies is in there. So baby is pretty much every cough medicine, injection, herb that you can find to cure cold or to cure this, it's already in your breast milk and you're giving it to your baby to make your baby's immune system like, what, what, I can handle that, I can handle this. So this is why the CDC, as well as um, WHO, World Health Organization is saying, continue to breastfeed because it is so impactful of what's in that liquid gold that nothing on this world all the roots you can pull up dandelions leaves berries whatever it will not compare to what's in the breast milk so continue to breastfeed um, if you are pregnant and still debating yes put that on your birth plan um, 
Now, a lot of questions is, okay, well, what if I'm sick? What if they say I have the COVID-19 or whatever? I'm going to tell you the same thing that I would put on any other breastfeeding video is basically just to wash your hands. You're supposed to do that anyway before you breastfeed, right? If you are sick, okay, you want to cover up you know your your nasal passage and also your mouth area so we all know that now because we walk outside and we see everybody covered up but you want to do the same thing whether it is the COVID-19 or just a common cough you still want to do that um, anytime that you are not breastfeeding the baby if you can have somebody tend to the baby if you're sick that is fine so baby is brought to you when it's time to feed and then baby will be taken away by whoever's the the next person um in line to care for the baby while you rest and recuperate and things like that but that doesn't mean just stop the skin to skin contact that doesn't mean stop breastfeeding whatsoever that doesn't mean oh my gosh we got to go out and get bottles because the baby da, da 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 no you can still do that just make sure that the regular procedure of breastfeeding is done make sure your hands are clean your breast nipple areas is clean and air dried off um, you know no creams no you know perfumes none of that stuff um, and if you are sick yeah you want to put your mask on whether it's a flu cold you just sneezing all over the place and even if you have a mask you have a, like a turtleneck or something you can just wrap over your mouth and then the times that you are not breastfeeding or bonding, you let somebody else care for the baby majority of the time. That doesn't mean you have to be isolated because once you start isolating yourself from the baby, now you're bringing in a whole lot of mental issues, hormonal issues, things like that, dealing with attachment that's just unnecessary, you know, and that can lead into depression. That can lead to a whole bunch of stuff. So no, you be mom, okay? And you just say, okay, it's time to feed, or the baby say, okay, I'm ready to eat. You bring the baby to you, you feed the baby, you cuckoo, you bond, and breastfeeding, a complete breastfed session is usually about 40 to 45 minutes. Um, so that's a good 40 to 45 minutes of bonding, um, and that helps you emotionally and physically as well, and it also helps the baby emotionally and physically. So please, if you're saying, oh no, I'm scared, I don't want to breastfeed my baby during this, what if, what if, what if, nope don't even go there just stop it there is no evidence as of yet that says that it's in breast milk whatsoever it's no evidence as of yet saying that um, if the mom has COVID-19 and she makes she washes her hands she puts a mask on that um, she still can you know contain uh, contaminate the baby there's no evidence based off yet and breast milk is so powerful when I say powerful powerful that even if you had COVID-19, and this is why the CDC and WHO, World Health Organization, is coming to these conclusions because they realize how powerful this stuff is, is that even if you do have COVID-19, all that immunity that are, is going into your baby will protect your baby even against you. Like I said, it knows what it's doing. It knows what your baby needs, and it will amp up everything that it needs to do for you the only thing that you need to worry about is just make sure that you stay hydrated so that you can produce that milk and make sure you continue eating as many calories as prescribed as um, in pregnancy so whatever your caloric count was for pregnancy when you visit your OBGYN or midwife is going to be the same caloric count um, that you have um, when you breastfeed um, minus the sugary substances and the salty substances and all that overload the fast food restaurants But you know more of a um, holistic type diet, you know where you have a little bit of this a little bit of that I'm not gonna go into health class with you because you already know so if I eased your mind in any way I'm happy. I'm very happy. If you have any questions below, please comment below and I will get back to you and I'm sure other people will also comment under your comments as well, but Everything is updating every day, um, every week, every month. So as soon as we get more information, I will put up more videos. But I personally cannot see them saying anything else besides um, continue to breastfeed, but just do the precautions of um, cleaning hands, making sure your, your breast is clean. Um, if you are sick with anything, you know, cover up your mouth. And if you are sick, 
have some a caretaker come in and help you out um, with the baby. They don't have to take the baby away, but just to help you out so that way the baby can spend more time um, away from you and be cared for. You can be at ease and just rest up and heal up. But if you ain't got no symptoms, everything like that, continue to breastfeed or put it on your your birth plan to breastfeed. Um, like I said. Um, please put comments below. Um, you can also email me. Um, you can find all my social media information down below. And I will catch you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.